Representing Gloucestershire has been a very proud moment of my of my career. I mean, I came down as a as a youngster. I followed my big brother down to the West Country. Um, end up getting an opportunity in the second eleven and a pro contract. You know, two or three months later, and I've been here ever since. So um, the fact I'm still here in Bristol, uh, nearly 14, 33 years later, is testament to how much I loved it. Oh, that is always uh, an unfair question. So, favourite playing memory? Uh, I find it hard to separate maybe two or three. So, if I mention all three, very briefly. So, getting my first 100 uh, as an 18-year-old, becoming the, the youngest player to score 100, beating WG Grace's record was pretty special at the time. Uh, and then I went on, obviously, to, to kind of get selected for England, which is the pinnacle of uh, every player's career. But I think then winning our first uh, trophy in 1999 at Lords against Yorkshire, scoring 100 on the day, getting a man a match, that was a pretty special moment. So the Bristol County Crown would be in 1986, yeah, getting my first 100. I was 99 not out overnight and um, we were playing against Sussex and Imran Khan, who was a, a massive hero of mine, who's now Prime Minister of Pakistan, <laughs> crazy enough. He was playing for Sussex at the time and um, I got 100 um, first thing next morning and yeah one of my favourite photos is just him clapping me off. Um, I'm not particularly nostalgic but I've saved that photo. Uh, it was a pretty special moment. Um, yeah teammates are, are, are to be cherished and uh, I got along well with, with a lot of guys but um, it's hard to separate kind of myself from, from maybe Martin Ball, who uh, he kind of started two years just after myself. Um, we travel around Europe together in the winter months. We lived together as youngsters. We played a lot of cricket together for Gloucestershire and um, culminating now um, spending a nice afternoon today together with Martin Ball. He was pretty close. Um, other key relationships at, at the club are people like Courtney Walsh, who was kind of smashing it internationally at the time, but always had a lot of time to help you develop as a, as a person, as a, as a cricketer. So um, probably those two are, uh, are my favorites. Greatest, oh wow. <laughs> uh, okay, so uh, the, the, most, the greatest and most prolific player I played with was Courtney Walsh and um, not just the fact that he got wickets you know, for fun and at, at the right time, but just the way he approached his whole professional career with Gloucestershire, you know, it was kind of second to none. Um, and in the same breath, someone like uh, Jack Russell, who was equally excellent at what he did uh, as a keeper, totally different skill set, but um, ju just as good. Uh, so those two, um, having played with them, kind of became my kind of favorite players. What I miss most about playing for Gloucestershire is very much maybe what every past cricketer would say and that's the, the camaraderie um, with your teammates. Uh, cricket's a fairly unique game how it's played, you know, particularly the four day game. You, you know, you spend so much time together, even in the throes of competition. You know, you, you sat in the changing room, you're on the balcony together, you share a lot of memories, a lot of stories, um, good times, bad times. So without doubt, I think that camaraderie with your teammates in and around the, the changing room and on, on, on the circuit is, is irreplaceable.